Okay, so what do I got planned for today? <clears throat> As you can see, we got a pile of parts here. Well, pieces of metal and some stuff. And you can probably guess what I'm going to build by... There's a ball there and some three-point pins there and a hitch receiver there. We're going to build a trailer mover uh, for a three-point hitch either for the 4010 or the 2010. It's going to go on the 2010 first off, but it could fit any of them, you know. Um, since I sold my F-150 and Casey's driving her truck again, I don't have an extra truck at the farm to move trailers. And I hate moving trailers with the tractor with a chain. Um, you know, the trailer swinging around, you break stuff. And um, moving the gooseneck, I just scoop the neck up and I don't like doing that because then you can break the the uh, clasp on it so I had some steel laying around the uh, only thing I had to buy for this project so far is the receiver tube um, well I bought the channel iron at some point and uh, it's just been laying around I got it at an auction for like 25 bucks for a bunch of it so um, same with that piece of angle and my grandpa gave me the square tubing so I cut everything last night I got to recut that angle I decided I wanted to change it so I got to recut that and drill the holes in the uprights and I can start welding everything together and then I'll decide if I want to run cross braces off the side and I want to uh, if I want to put any hooks or anything on it um, I also have to cut this receiver tube down and uh, cut a couple pieces so I can have a spot to store the hitches because I use a two inch ball around here a two and five sixteen inch ball and I'll probably use a uh, empty receiver for moving hay wagons and stuff so I want to have all three of them on there um, one will always be in the receiver more than likely so I won't need a place to store it so I just need a spot to store two more and uh, yeah so I'll get that piece cut and I'll get those drilled and we'll get you guys well and I don't feel like filming anything cutting because it's just cutting i cut some of it with my bandsaw till the blade broke and then i cut the rest with the metabo so anyway let me get that done and we'll pick up and we'll get you some video welding and trying it out and everything all right so we got everything cut mocked up i'm just going to touch up where i'm going to weld with the grinder and uh we'll get welding all right uh we got her all tacked up i did completely weld the ends on the tube and the three-point bottom links there but the uprights all tacked on there and I'm I'm liking the way it's looking it does look like it's leaning a little bit don't it we'll uh, see if we can straighten that up and uh, finish welding her out I'll put you guys on time lapse after I get her straightened out I don't have much battery left so we'll see what we get
Okay, so here it is, the final, final build of it. We'll paint it, make it look pretty, but I just gotta try it out because you just gotta, after you build something, Nick, you gotta try it out. Yep. So we got our empty receiver, our two inch, and our two and five sixteenths for the bumper pull, and then two and five sixteenths for the gooseneck, and then a hook just to hang a chain from. I don't know if I'd pull from up there. That's a little high up on the tractor and everything. I mean, I got an empty receiver and a clevis, so we can pull from down below. But some of the welds are just beautiful, and some of them are not as beautiful. But like, look in there. Those are pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's hook it up to a trailer next. You missed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Now I had a crack that's how our steering I put it back to <laughs> Look at that. 